Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we're going to be covering uh, some frequently asked questions on my channel that I have received, either directly messaged to me or, um, you know, put in my Discord. So, with that, um, don't, this isn't made out of spite, this is just for you guys to use as a reference because there are some things that you guys do need to know that a lot of you are asking me. And I definitely want to cover all of it so that way you guys have answers. So, I'm going to start off with Libs Disguises. That seems to be a pretty common one. Uh, a common question I get is, can you reskin a mob to look like something else? And the answer is going to be no. Now, if you want to look up how to reskin a mob using mods, uh, you can download Optifine and you can, um, you can look up a texture pack I like using. It's called Transmobifier. I'll have a uh, thing for that in the description below. It's really, really cool, and you can learn a lot from that. However, um, this only works like on your client. This will not affect other players' gameplays unless they also have the resource pack. So, using Libs Disguises, once again, will not change the skin of your mob. Next, can you create custom mob models? Again, this is going to be a big, fat no. You cannot create custom mob models, at, not through Libs Disguises. Again, this is going to be used using Optifine or other mob uh, mods because everything that we have in game is what we are allowed to mess with. If Mojang did not allow us to create mobs in game, then we are not going to be able to create mobs in game or through a plugin either. So everything that we're allowed to tamper with is stuff that was already provided for us through Minecraft's open source programming. Beyond that, we're kind of on our own. So, next, I want to I want to jump into the Discord aspect of everything going on. So, one question I get sometimes is, "Can I message you for help?" Uh, this answer is yes, you can. However, I can't always get around to it because I have a lot going on, both in real life and in game. Um, as you guys know, I make these videos, but I also do custom commissions for people who you know, who ask me, hey, can you make a mob for me? I'll pay you. And I say, yeah, sure I will. Uh, I'm also an artist in real life, so, you know, that takes up a bunch of my time as well, uh, especially as of lately with the world events going on at the moment, which would, like, be, like, coronavirus and such. So I, th there's a lot of my time being taken up with other projects. So with that, what I want to go ahead and show you is go to the link or join my Discord. I will have a link for that in the description and as a pop-up underneath me right now on screen. Um, and if you click on that link, it'll take you here to Moosh's Monster Lab. You'll start off in the rules section, which I please, I highly encourage you read. Uh, it's very important as well. I also have a message down here that specifically applies to people who ask if they can message me for help. Although you can, I much prefer you go to Tickets, and then click on this React button. From there, you'll get a ping down here saying New Mentions. And if not, just make sure to check it anyway. Uh, I've heard some people tell me that they don't get pinged, but if you click on that button, just scroll down to Tickets, and yours should be at the bottom down here. This is where you can copy and paste uh, code, or you can ask for help. Of course, you can always come up to my community support, or whatever one fits, and you can ask for help in these channels as well. I have a pretty cool community and they're always willing to help and they've helped me out a bunch personally. Um, so I highly, highly advise asking in here. So, next. Uh, can you write code for me? Can you give me the answers? No. And I'm not trying to be mean about this, but no, I cannot. If you are absolutely stuck like you written a whole line of code like uh like this for example like this for example here's my legion mod i have this in my mythic tutorials pack say you i don't know maybe you like mistyped something like uh say you have boss bar set to range of 10 here but you forgot to put a space in it and you just cannot for the life of you figure out what you did wrong you're more than welcome to copy and paste that into a ticket that you create and I'd be more than happy to look over it, and so will any of my staff. But, um, as far as answers go, I will not directly write code for you for a mob. Uh, if I do, then that's taking away my time, and you are not learning a thing that way. So, 
uh, is what, what one of my friends told me when I was learning is read the manual. Always look at the manual. I guarantee you will find every answer that you are looking for in here. On the left, you have all different types of things that pertain to mobs. Below that, you have the skills, all different pages that you can look at, items and drops, spawners, and even some tutorials provided by the plugin author themselves. So, will I write code for you? No, that's gonna be a big N-O. Last, can you break down the skills used in someone else's custom mobs? Now, as an artist myself, this one will always be a no. Big, fat, and oh. It's like, if I were to do that kind of thing, that would be asking me to steal somebody else's property and break it down for you, which is really not cool. So us, like us Mythic Mob developers, we, we support one another, you know? We showcase each other's stuff from time to time. Uh, we give each other tips and tricks, some hints. If I have a skill that I personally came up with and I'm happy to share it with you guys, I will always make a video for it to showcase it to you. Uh, assuming it doesn't take away too much from one of the mobs I created and sell as a mob bundle. But I will absolutely never break down somebody else's mob skills because that's stealing from them. And that, you know, like I said, as an artist, that's, uh, that's, that's not cool. So that's always going to be a no. Please, if you can, refrain from asking something like that. Uh, you know, if somebody tells me that they made a skill or something and I hear that somebody stole it, uh, they will be banned from my Discord channel because, well, this is a, I'm trying to make a community that's respectful to one another here. So, you know, and so far we've been, we've been doing pretty amazing at that. And I'm so, so proud of it. And I, you know, I'd like to keep it that way for, for time to come. So, um, lastly, if you guys are confused about something, or maybe somebody else has a similar question as you, uh, look look in these channels. Community support, lives disguises help, you know, all of these ones. If you just look around, you might learn something new. Like, uh, there's so many different things. Like, here's somebody you can see, like, um, has some sort of potion effect going on, and maybe you don't know much about potion effect, so you want to look at it. That's entirely up to you. But, um, again, don't ever ask somebody to break down somebody else's skills for you unless they created it themselves and are willing to share that information because otherwise you are stealing from other people and that's not cool but again i did not make this video spitefully i just wanted to uh, set some ground rules and clear some stuff up for you so again you cannot reskin a mob you cannot create custom mob models you can message me for help however i prefer that be once in a while if you only message me for help, I will stop messaging back because I've got other things I need to do and other people who also have questions and I can't directly give you all the answers. So um, if you absolutely need help and you're just hard stuck on something, uh, make a ticket for it in my Discord channel. Again, it's gonna be in Moosh's Monster Lab. You're gonna scroll down or at the top, you're gonna have tickets. You're gonna click that button and a new ticket will open up for you here. So if you can do that, that would help me a bunch. No, I will not write code for you. However, myself or others may give you a page on the manual to look at that might have your answers. I highly encourage you try to figure some of this out yourself because otherwise you will not be able to create mobs without help in the future. And it's it's embarrassing for, you know, like it was embarrassing for me when I had to keep uh, asking for help. So, you know, it's always good to take time to learn for yourself as well. And again, no, I will not break down somebody else's mob skills. So that's really all I got to cover for you guys today. I'm sure I'll probably have another video in the future, but I wanted to cover all this because these seem to be all the current urgent questions that I've been getting in my channel. And I just, you know, I, I wanted to clear it up for you guys. So thank you for taking the time to watch this. If you have any further questions, you're welcome to message me. Uh, if not, you know, good luck with your creations. Uh, hope you stay a part of the community. Hope you're enjoying your time with me and all the others and well, I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.